Welcome to the Gwent Deck Guides, featuring Warrit's Assimilate Deck. The Dark is my ally. The Dark is my friend. The deck's playstyle depends on the opponent that you're facing. It has an answer to almost anything that gets thrown in its way, making it a jack of all trades. The following cards are a must-have. Oniromancy, Joachim de Wet, Coupe de Grasse. The deck is also complemented with assimilate heavy units such as Brathens, Arturius Vigo, Tornish Shalmar. We want to mulligan away excess cards. These can be unnecessary duplicates or too many of the same sort. We always want to have a balance of assimilate units and their triggers. Here are a few card combo options you have. First up, Asir Faranahid and Nikis. This combo is especially lethal in close round 3 scenarios. Next up, Warrant the All Seeing into Gorthed Gwed. This way, you can either exchange the highest card from your opponent or boost your Viper Witcher Mentor by its provision cost. Note that Cantarilla also complements Gorthed Gwed since you can play the card right away. The first round is all about getting the engine started. This forces the opponent to commit many cards, further increasing our chance to win with Joachim de Wet into Coupe de Grasse. Brathens gives us the Assimilate and Deploy trigger. We also want to play the Informant to stop Vernorcio's commander from boosting herself. Notice how much value we can get from just Bronze cards? Leaving engines unattended will give our opponents a tough time. We want to mulligan away the Van Morlem's Hunters since Warret is a high priority target. With Oniromancy in our hand, we have the luxury of choosing to either play Cantarella or Gorthed Gwed. Since we know what our opponent's win condition is, we push the round a bit longer with the Seer and Nikis. Note that the chances of Nikis being summoned from your deck increases the less cards you have in your hand. I decide to play Oniromancy into Gorthed Gwed to place a Glaze on top of our deck. We use the leader ability to check if our opponent has any hard removals. We take Thunderbolt to further increase the boost Iglesias receives and, after pulling her out with Joachim, we maximize the boost value using our opponent's win condition against him. Remember that you don't always have to use Coupe de Grasse on your disloyal units. Here, we steal the Arrakis Behemoth from our opponent, getting Assimilate and Tempo value. Since we already stole Triss Telekinesis, we create the Bone Talisman, boosting all our units. You can recycle any unit you need with Gorthod Gwed. Here, we were forced to play Joachim de Wet in the first round. We shuffle it back into our opponent's deck and play our Neuromancy to Cantarella, pulling out Joachim. With Coupe de Grasse, we pull out Torni Shalmar, removing 4 points from our opponent's side, maximizing its value. Don't underestimate the Brathens Emissary combo on turn 3. With the Assimilate passive, the 1 point from the Emissary is negated. You can also pair it with Coupe de Grasse, doubling its effectiveness. In conclusion, this is one of the more complex decks which takes some getting used to. It is important to think ahead a couple of turns in order to maximize your chances of winning. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, how about a round of Gwent?